Who's that for you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI. Today, I'm gonna be watching Under the Tucson Sun. I'm kidding. Tuscan Sun, yes. Uh, this was requested by Tom on Patreon, who has always been requesting movies that at first glance, I'm like, I don't know about this one. And then by the end of it, I'm like, I loved it. So I have a funny feeling we're gonna be in for another one of those. My partner said she really likes this movie. She didn't tell me anything about it. I know nothing about this movie going in. Uh, I think Diane Lane is the lead. I think I saw that briefly in the little thing, but I don't know who the character is, what the motivation is or anything like that at all. This movie came out in 2003, which by the way, 2003 is a very underrated year in history. If you go back and look at pretty much anything, there was awesome stuff going on in 2003. Like, for example, like I'm a wrestling fan, 2003 we had Stone Cold, The Rock, John Cena, Batista, Hulk Hogan, Goldberg, Rey Mysterio, like it was, it was this weird time where like the old guys and the new guys were just all there at the same time. If you look at NBA, we that was LeBron James's like rookie season I think was in 2003. Michael Jordan came back and played for the Wizards. Kobe Bryant was going nuts. Like it was just a crazy good time. If you look at movies, the X-Men movies were thriving. The uh, Elf came out in 2003. Pirates of the Caribbean came out in 2003. <laughs> like whatever it is that you're really passionately into, go back and look at what was going on in 03 and let me know in the comments if it was a surprisingly good year in retrospect. Under the Tuscan Sun is a very whimsical sounding title. I guess it tells me where this movie is set. It's going to be set in Tuscany. But other than that, it just sounds like the first line of like an old timey poem read by the, the guy from the beginning of The Big Lebowski, like Under the Tuscan Sun, where the cows have fun. There was a cow, just one, who was too old to run. So the farmer came out with a gun, and he said to the one, you are done. The cow laughed and said, oh, you want some? And kicked that farmer and his gun into the Tuscan sun. And see, that kind of took on a life of its own. By the way, patreon.com slash FWCI if you want a full length version of this reaction and early access and access to movie polls and stuff like that. Uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, I think, is winning the current month's movie poll, so expect that sometime in the future, probably. But enough filling time with irrelevant conversation because I don't have any context for this movie whatsoever. This is Under the Tucson Sun. Tuscan Sun. She said, Terrible ideas are like playground scapegoats. Given the right encouragement, they grow up to be geniuses. She told me to take one of my terrible ideas and work on it. <laughs> Great advice. Thank you very much. May I please French kiss you now? <laughs> oh, hey, easy there, buddy. Okay, so she's like a professor that teaches literature or writing, journalism, some kind of word-based studies. I, I'm sure there were a lot of other critics who loved it. And I really hope you didn't take it personally. You uh, called my lead character unrealistic. <laughs> get interested in a novel where the protagonist was a middle-aged guy who spent all of his time living out his horny teenage fantasies. Yeah, all right, well, what was this book that you wrote? Ask your husband. <laughs> oh, all right, you're gonna drop a bomb like that and then walk off? What the hell? And he did the turnaround. Screw you, buddy. Don't like him, don't like him. Because what I got from that is he is insinuating that her husband is off being debaucherous. I just got off the uh, phone with your uh, husband's attorney and they're going to, uh, they're going to pursue alimony. Oh, wow, okay. A lot happened off screen. They're probably talking about something like uh, you know, $200,000. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of money. Ooh. I thought she was like a bit of a success. Is she just a critic or something? So he gets half the house and alimony. What? But there's adultery. I know he said it's a no-fault state, but adultery. I understand he wants it pretty badly. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so surreal. Um. Yeah, why the hell would he want that house when it's like in her family? Find the money to buy me out of my house. 
With his new missus, I'm guessing. Apparently, uh, she likes the place. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's rough. Schools? What? She's... <sighs> this seems outrageously unfair. And this is how it goes down in California. Ladies, if your husband's like, let's move to California, don't go. <laughs> She's just going to leave everything and be like, you know what? Screw you. I'm off to Tuscany, bitches. Get under that sun. We're done. Wow, that's... Talk about, like, severing ties. That's a hell of a move right there. You could have taken some other clothes, though, right? I hope that's what was in the boxes. His divorce has been dragging on for three years. Nice guy. Gives free legal advice to the other tenants. If his crying gets on your nerves, you just bang on the wall. He'll stop. Sorry. Guy in the apartment above you is a doctor. He hands out the sleeping pills. What do you <laughs> Where have you moved to? Ta-da! Start a marriage with cake and champagne. You should finish it that way too. Can we not stay with this lady? <laughs> Why are we in a depressing a de a department? Depressing apartment. Oh. Alright, congratulations, Patty. I'm going to be an auntie. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it changes our plans a little bit. It's kind of sad how excited, like, not sad that she's excited, but like. Oh, it's probably the first thing she's had to be excited about in a long time. Like that. That's your depression speaking. Well, it doesn't speak Italian. It speaks a little high school French. Besides, I'm not depressed anymore. Then what are you still doing living at Camp Divorce with all those losers? Be nice. Those are my people. That's oh, really? She's ingrained herself into that community? <laughs> okay, where's, where's that movie? That actually sounds like it could be fun. It's a gay tour of romantic Tuscany. Oh! So it would be very <laughs> relaxing for you. You know, mostly couples, no one would be there to hit on you or check you out. And uh, Or are you going to be unicorned into some menage a trois? I think you're in danger. Of? Of never recovering. Mm, yeah, you don't want to get in that spiral. This is no time to be a chicken shit, Francis. I'm not being a chicken shit, Patty. I'm not. Yeah. Who are you, Marty McFly? That seemed to really trigger you, Francis. <laughs> hey! Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you want to come over? Maybe later. When do I leave? Yeah, well done. Although now I'm very concerned about her neighbor who is waiting for her to show up and hang out. Is there any gay women on this thing? I thought it was going to be like... Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, Frances is straight, and she just survived a terrible divorce. And according to her friend Patty, she really needs our support. <laughs> Thanks, Patty, for telling everybody all this shit. Everyone say hello. <laughs> all right, I can see exactly where this movie is going. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, Tuscany. I didn't see much sun there. I saw a lot of, a lot of umbrellas, though. Thank you. Can I get a drink up in here? Yes, she can. Thank you. Francis? One more? No, no, no. Hang on a second. That person just said, can a black girl get a drink up in here? Their cup was already, like, half full. <laughs> yeah, all right. So we got some um, pretty intense setting scenery landscapey kind of shots in this movie i don't know how many people are going to get this reference but jordan schlansky would fucking love this shit right here Sio, Campania down here, sicilia calabria puglia first of all Le Marche, first Abruzzo. of all first of all you're showing off yeah I mean, that's adorable, but also, what is going on? Oh, was that an awakening moment for Francis? <laughs> After having two gay best friends for her entire life, it was seeing a 
mysterious stranger rubber baby chicken on her face. That's what did it. I can write it for you. Are you a good writer? Uh, to my mom. Dear mom. I wish I could stay here longer, but the bell of the campanile reminds me of time. Ding, ding, dong. The bell says instead of ding, dong. Wow, this dude's mom's going to get this and be like, my son is a genius. Even smells like purple. My mom will never believe that I wrote this. <laughs> yeah. Keep it. Ding, exactly. dang, dong goes the bell. You ungrateful fuck. Brahma <laughs> soul. Brahma soul. Brahma soul. Oh, mysterious stranger, you're back. Lady Demistrio, is that you? <laughs> Earlier on in your life? I mean, who wouldn't want to buy a villa in Tuscany? But uh, that would be a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Mm. And she does love that. I might be on board with the mysterious stranger. Oh. What kind of divine intervention is this? How is the mysterious stranger behind that little moment? I'm just going to assume she's pulling all the strings. Oh, nobody wants to go with this, like... Divorced woman who's like fragile as fuck as she totters off into the Italian wilderness. Is that what we would call this? A volte, no? Sono d'accordo sul prezzo. Come? Così presto? Allora abbiamo chiesto troppo poco. Smart, smart lady. The contessa feels that uh, she has asked too little, but since you have agreed to buy it, that logic is absurd. <laughs> You don't tell them that, man. There is so much interest in the house, the price is uh, uh, now double. Since the last 10 seconds. Normal, eh? Contessa, you are quite, quite savvy. We are looking for in the Provence. Fascisti! Oh, <laughs> okay. Contessa, that's how it is. <sighs> Hammers, buckets. Men. <laughs> gonna add chocolate into that equation her friends are gonna be like you bought a villa we only sent you there for a weekend no no I'm sorry signora the Contessa's family have lived here for generations so Contessa you're gonna gift us a house aren't you oh oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> please Oh, that's the sign? Senor, Senor! Casa del Francis, let's go. Everybody knows old houses have their quirks. I have inherited 10,000 empty wine bottles. One grape. Bursting into tears make that even funnier. So it can introduce itself to you. You did what? Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're the one who made the empty shell person standing at the crossroads speech. Oh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, but she didn't tell you to buy a goddamn villa. I handed you the rubber thingy. The plunger? That was Tom. I can't believe it. Why? Why did you just say his name? Oh, yeah, okay, shit, whoops. In Italy, I can hire the muscular descendants of Roman gods to do the heavy lifting. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, and now this is where living in this thing turns into a horror story. Is this movie about to hard left? <laughs> I don't know why I relate to that so much. I feel like that is definitely a nervous, like, compulsion. Yo! What is happening? Oh, hello Al, can you help us out? Man, that is hectic shit right there. Buongiorno. 
Buongiorno to you too, my friend. What a... You're meeting the contractors today, and I, uh, I came to help you. I believe one of them is already here. Here? Oh. Wait. He doesn't look like a contractor. Heating pipes uh, a week. The bathrooms, three days. Signora, give me the keys of this place. Is this what contractors are like in Italy? Like, sex pests? Oh. Andiamo. God, what is the goon squad doing here? It's big new. I'm glad I've got subtitles on because I would not have picked that up. It's big new. Holy shit, it's just all thick stone wall. That's crazy. Sven, Sven, whatever your name is, get out there. Would have worked out perfectly. Kurva <laughs> match. Kurva March means holy shit in Polish. I learned that that day. Kurva March, okay. Is he a licensed electrician? No, he's a licensed literatura professor. I like him. Just with me, Wash. It is only natural to get. Oh, but he has demons, I see. He doesn't seem as curious about me, but that's all. <laughs> he's, he seems to want to be left alone, I think. Papa! Si? Ho finito. Va bene, Chiara, vai con la rete. Ok. Ok. We've got some really helpful people in this thing. Oh, Pavel, what are you uh, thinking right here? Grazie. Who was the mysterious stranger? <laughs> it just popped into my head. Who was that woman? Okay. Nice to meet you too. Why does she cry all day? Gratitude to the saints for saving us from traps, mad dogs, and... <sighs> You're back. The mysterious stranger has a name. No lord and master, no consort. No. <laughs> Do you have one? One? Huh. <laughs> she got an email lover, you see? From Ecuador. No. Finally, she had to tell him her age. And now... Niente bosta! Eh. Niente bosta! Te lo meriti. Dio bon. Sbagli! <laughs> Il mio cuore che so... Oh no, this is so early in the internet as well. Tell a bit. Celibate. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, it has been a while. Celibate is how means single. <laughs> also, it's been a while. Oh, benone, se la visti mangiava. Come stai? Good work, man. You skis. Catherine loves the ice cream. Gelati, I guess. I was gobbling it down, letting it run all over my chin because I was very hungry. Okay. Bevy said you have to live spherically in many directions. Never lose your childish enthusiasm and things will come your way. All right, Fefe, thanks for the life advice via Catherine slash mysterious stranger. By pulling ivy spherically and with childish enthusiasm. Ah. She look under the bed. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her. <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> I hope it's under the other one. Maybe he moved out already. You know, snakes are famous for changing their minds. Yeah. Snakes like her ex-husband? God damn it. It doesn't actually kill you. Like a bullet to the heart or a head-on car wreck. Damn, that's a bleak way thing to say. Jesus. Wake up day after day after something like that, trying to understand how in the world you didn't know. Yeah, I would see what she means. I do. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking, you idiot. I mean, you... 
You're the stupidest woman in the world. You bought a house for a life you don't even have. I mean, it was a bold move, let's be honest. They built these tracks even before there was a train in existence that could make the trip. <laughs> they built it because they knew someday the train would come. Did the train ever come, though? I, I think your snake has gone for the evening. Yes, I think you're right. I don't I believe either of you. It's still there somewhere, I'm sure of it. Please, stop being so sad. If you continue like this, I'll be forced to make love to you. <laughs> and I've never been yeah. unfaithful to my wife. Oh, damn. Buona notte, signora. Yes, buona notte, signor Martini. Grazie. Grazie. I feel like if he was unfaithful with his wife to be with her, that would create a whole other variety of problems. Of a hypocritical nature, perhaps? I think it started the night she stood by me through the storm, knowing full well I'm not a Catholic. So she's a non-religious person having a little bit of a religious moment. That's fair. It is San Lorenzo. He is the patron saint of cooks. Uh, apparently he was martyred on a grill and uh, seared until he said, uh, Oh, turn me over, I'm down on this side. <laughs> I think if you pray to him, he will help you find someone to cook for. Good for you, Martini. Look at you being a decent human being and not ruining your family. For the outrageously attractive Diane Lane. I, I do feel like I need to point that out. She looks amazing in this movie. I realized I already had someone to cook for. Plenty. Yeah, good point. Good point. But these are, oh, I guess some of them are, are Polish, but a lot of Italians. Is she going to bring that American cooking? All right, as she learned them fast. Stand corrected. Oh, well, that food looks pretty goddamn good. Why don't you go sit next to Go on. Good advice. Well done, Francis, you little Cupid. Francesca! Come up! I'm having my portrait painted. Of course she is. What else would she be doing? Oh, is she gonna be in the nude? Because I detected a bit of lust in Francis's eyes when she originally saw the mysterious stranger. I think I'll come back another time. Why? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He's staying with me while he's studying the Tuscan light. Venus. The Tuscan light? Is that a thing? Does the Speedos also help him look at the Tuscan light? Oh, you're so boring. What? I said you're boring. Look at you. You're sad. She's Marty McFly. All you, gotta, all you gotta do is call her a chicken or boring and she's like, what? You said what about me? I'll do it. I just got here. I just walked in the How door. How are you ever gonna be happy if you keep wallowing? How is he studying the Tuscan light at night time? <laughs> and forget about it. I said, go! I'm going! <laughs> what an interaction. Hilarious. I don't understand the joke, guys. Hey, we're just some Italian guys just having a fun applauding a lady. Did she say you're Chebya Koham? Because I have definitely heard that. If she has. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. You said you were going to meet me. I've been looking for you for 20 minutes. What am I going to do with you? Wait, who are you? I'm sorry. Miss Guzia. Thank you. What the hell? What were those three dudes all about there? They're just creeps? I reckon he's going to end up being the guy. She's going to end up with him. Random crowd man. I know where there is another store. My cousin owns one. Your cousin owns it at Turia? Yes. What a stroke of luck. But you are the one who grabbed me and pretend I'm your husband. You're probably one of those crazy American women like uh, Charlie's Angels. <laughs> what a reference, mate. 
Avanti. Avanti. Yellow light uh, decoration. And what about red lights? <laughs> Just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My cello. That is a hectic road right there. He says he doesn't have it. Why am I not surprised? Really, Marcello? You lied to her? She's got important chandelier business. And then we put in the bottle with three quarter of alcohol and uh, one quarter of sugar. Mm -hmm. Do you need some wine bottles? I got a thousand of them. Marcello, are you a good guy? I think Marcello is going to end up being a good guy. And they're gonna go into business with that lemon, lemon jello or whatever it was. Hello, mate. What are, what are you doing on the beach? Yeah, piccolino. Cosa? Veramente? No. What? <laughs> he says, take me home with you. Oh, he does, does he? Esattamente. Yeah, definitely do. You have a whole house. Bring that cute little kitty cat back. You have beautiful eyes, Francesca. <laughs> Francesca. That sounds nicer than Francis. That's exactly what American women think Italian men say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? And he's all like, oh. Since then, there hasn't, there hasn't been anybody. Would you like to help me change that? Oh, so quick? We just nabbed him off the street today. That is exactly the kind of thing we tell him and think American women say. Oh. <laughs> Fair play, Marcello. Ooh, cue bad green screen. Yeah. Uh, that was a nice artistic moment but there. That green screen was rough. It's worse than my green screen, and I'm just a dude. Oh shit, we get naked. I'm going to make love all over you. Okay. Oh, graphic there, Marcello. Lucky you were wearing that insanely attractive underwear lingerie on this particular day, Francesca. Che bella spalla, What is spalla? Shoulder. Yeah, you guys got a big couple of weeks ahead of you. <laughs> a lot of anatomy to learn, I'm sure. Promise me. When? Can you come this weekend? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, you still got it, friends, Shetska. Whoa, hello. Buongiorno. Do I still look sad to you? No. <laughs> that nun in the background with ice cream all over her face. <laughs> Is he madly in love with her? Oh, hello. I gotta go pee. <laughs> I bet you do. Jesus. Where's Francesca's kids? She ran out on me. <gasps> what? She didn't want to be a mother after all. Oh, so you realize that like seven months into the pregnancy. <laughs> How do you ever breathe again? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon. Yeah you, yeah, you better figure out that whole breathing thing because you're going to need that. The baby's going to like them because it's going to be a creepy Italian baby who goes around saying ciao mamma and doing that backward hand wave thing. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? So what are they using for water right now? <laughs> oh. 
Pavel. What does that make me? Saint Francesca, patron saint of horny teenagers? <laughs> because he thinks you're young and you shouldn't be. It's because I'm Polish. It will be terrible if we are not together. Is that what it is? Assassino. Did you say assassinate? Did she say that you were going to assassinate somebody? No, she misunderstand. I didn't say amore. I didn't say assassino. I said I'm going to ask Nino. <laughs> I can do it as good as any Italian man. That's why. And her father will see. Oh, okay. You're gonna win her father's approval with flag twirling? I told him you're taking me there so he will stay home. I don't want to lie to your father. <laughs> Come on, Francis. Who cares? <laughs> What a great bit of um, juicy gossip there for the friend to just wander into. <laughs> These are straight men in tights, twirling flags. <laughs> How fantastic. <laughs> All right, Pavel, what do you got for us? All right, Pavel, you got skills. <laughs> On your own, kids. I mean, enough already. Why can't he just let it go and get over it? <laughs> Don't go! Where are you going? What are you... Patty! Better not be about to get betrayed by Patty. Slow the fuck down, Marcello. Marcello! It looked like he was driving very fast, but then the editing made it look like he was going incredibly slow. <laughs> My God, he had a dream about me. Holy shit! <laughs> you could have faked labor at least! I wouldn't have had to fake it. <gasps> Whoops. I'm, I'm happy for Patty. I feel bad for her as well though. So we all just gonna live in Italy now? <laughs> the three of us? <laughs> in the villa? I guess there's room. Wow, what a beautiful shot. Yeah, how's your book going, by the way? What's it even about? It's been like such a backstory to this whole thing. Bologna? Poland. I guess they're all Polish workers that put it together. <laughs> you okay, mate? I really wish I knew more about the circumstances of how these guys got paid for this and where everything came from. I have your villa now though, it looks amazing as well. We never see the husband's face throughout this whole movie as well, or ex-husband I should say. No actor wanted the amount of heat that they would get for being the character that was as unbelievably shit as I have to buy a white dress. Okay. <laughs> My god, did you make your hair red as well? Or is it just how it looks under the Tuscan sun? She's very happy about this. This better be a big happy ending. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but for some reason I'm trepidatious. Marcello! <laughs> Francesca! Wait there, I'm coming down! What do you mean, wait there, I'm coming down? Why can't we come up? Every time we made plans, it didn't happen. So this time I thought I'll just surprise you. I am surprised. Yeah, who else is surprised? Facciamo tardi. Un momento, tesoro. Arrivo. Arrivo subito. Marcello. Marcello. And if you think I wanted more of you after that, you're right. Right, yeah. But not now? And this sort of thing must come naturally. Marcello, you can go to hell, you son of a bitch. Do you regret this? No. I guess it was fun while it lasted, but 
I don't like being screwed around after my divorce, you asshole. Marcello, I believed in you. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here, Catherine? I love this woman. She's great. Master Yan, he, he, he goes in and he, and he fishes her out. <laughs> you go, I know what? This poor bastard. You are good people, Martini. I see Zeus is gone. Back to Mount Olympus. <laughs> Always keep your childish innocence. It's the most important thing. Yeah, but isn't childish innocence what got our heart broken with, um, old mate? Marcello? I mean, it's a very sweet sentiment there, but I'm just trying to tie it into where we're up to in this movie. Because I feel like she's being pretty, pretty aloof, pretty chilled out. Yeah. What do you do at this point? You move on, you make your villa awesome, you sell it for a tidy sum, and then, I don't know, move to Australia? Oh. I have come here to ask your permission to marry your daughter i, know, I will Gina, love her but... forever and i know oh come on why you don't like pavel he seems like a nice guy never never what about you two don't be ridiculous i hate him half all the time but you love him the other half i have everything to offer her everything pavel let's go why is Chiara not speaking for herself here? It's all in fairy tales. No, it's not. And how do you know? From personal experience. <gasps> oh, low blow, buddy. Un grande amore. E non lo ma you tell him. Whatever your name was. E un povero muratore polacco. Non è nessuno. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we he go. He has no family. He has me. Oh, you're Pavel's mum now? Mighty gold looking ring there, Pavel. And for a movie that's sped through entire divorces and pregnancies, we spent a lot of time in that wedding ceremony. <laughs> oh, get it, that ice cream in here. No, oh, he's just a romantic. Is that all it is with him? Bacho, Bacho. I don't know what this is, but Bacho. <laughs> Hey, Martini, did your family die in an earthquake or something? Are you single? I think you've got your wish. My wish? A wedding in this house, yeah, good point. You said to me that you wanted there to be a wedding here. Hey, hey, hey. No toe sucking in public, you two. <laughs> I'm understanding the point of this movie. Got my wish. I'm like her, like, yeah, good point. Everything did work out good. <laughs> she looks great. Was her hair this red the entire movie, though? Just... Yeah. Oh. Well, that's quite symbolic. Who are you? With your luscious locks. Do I know you? Um, not really. You reviewed one of my books once. <gasps> is that? No, that can't be him, is it? I'm Ed. I'm Francis. Hi. Hi. I'm a Francesca. Come on, get into it. Where is the snake? Is it still in the house? Unthinkably good things can happen. Even late in the game. It's such a surprise. Who are you, Catherine? <laughs> Where did you come from? I know she's like an old actress, but like, what is she doing in here? Just... I don't know, is she the mascot of the town? And what is your deal, old man? 
Who did you lose? Who did you find? Are you going to wave back this time or what? Nope. <laughs> Grumpy old bastard. She is so fucking happy that he went. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Calm down, show. I'm not even finished watching my movie yet. Okay, so then the ending of it is when the water starts running. Bloody hell, Disney Plus. No, I'm not dying to watch A Good Year from Russell Crowe. Bloody 2006. All right, I'm going to assume there's no after credit scene where Nick Fury shows up. And recruits Catherine to the Avengers because Disney Plus is doing everything it can to get me away from looking at middle of the credits. But that was Under the Tuscan Sun. It wasn't too bad. I wouldn't say it's my favorite sort of feel good kind of movie, but there was some very uh, good poetic moments in there. I think maybe it was a little bit too long. That might be my only uh, criticism of it. I feel like we could have still achieved that same, um, you know, epiphany type moment. Uh, at the end of the movie if there was some of it sort of cut out but let's talk about the characters diane lane as francis yeah she is something else man she is so unbelievably naturally beautiful and throughout this entire movie whether she was covered in crap while doing renovations or whether she looked like a million dollars under the tuscan sun she looked amazing she looked really really good uh sandra O oh as patty she was good in this as well i thought she was a great side character to have like a friend that's going through her own stuff as well which bonds them but then it doesn't sort of become about the friend either so i thought that they did a good job giving us the uh the bombshell that she was abandoned by her wife uh halfway through a pregnancy kind of thing so and that's unusual storytelling especially for 2003 this movie felt very lgbtq friendly uh throughout from the, <laughs> the gay bus tour at the, the beginning and obviously depicting a, a fairly you know healthy <laughs> until the massive betrayal but a fairly healthy normal family dynamic with um patty and her wife whoever that was marcello you bastard i should have seen that coming i feel like i should have although the way a normal movie is paced, Marcello would have been the guy that she, you know, ends up with forever. But I like the twist that they gave us with this one here. Uh, Martini, he was a great character. He stood to his morals the entire time, even though he very casually said, I don't, I would be forced to make love to you if you don't stop a crying. Maybe he didn't say it exactly like that, but I liked that character. I liked his, um, the standards that he held up to. Oh, Lindsay Duncan as Catherine. I don't understand what the hell that was all about. That was absolutely crazy, but I loved everything that Catherine did in this movie. She was just some sort of like whimsical, whimsical fairy godmother guiding light sort of character. And then after that, we got into the more side characters, Pavel and Chiara. They had to be in the movie, I guess, because they needed that love story with the happy ending that they weren't going to give to Francesca. I think one of the biggest emotional beats for me was probably the uh, crew that uh, came to help her like you know renovate the villa and everything like that they had some really sweet moments um it, towards the end of the movie and i guess Fran francis does get the happy ending but they kind of just chuck it on at the end just before the water starts running again i don't usually do this but i just looked up uh but like under the tuscan sun where does francesca get her money um just, let's just have a look at some details here because i know you guys have probably been giving me information throughout and i appreciate that in the comments uh but let's have a look Apparently, uh, Francis Mays reportedly put... Oh, is this based on a real person? It appears to be based on real events. In that case, where did you find your money? <laughs> I'm just going to assume that she didn't have to be living in the depressing divorce um, units that she lived in at the beginning of the movie and just had a butt-ton of cash laying around, but she said she couldn't pay. And this says that Catherine was a realtor. I mean, she did, like whisper the idea of buying the villa in diane lane's ear but does that count at real estate i have a feeling this is one of the movies that's going to stick with me and i'm going to learn more about it as i go through editing and you know if i watch it again i'm probably going to see a lot more throughout it but it felt a little bit like i say felt a little bit long i don't know if that made it disjointed it didn't hit the emotional chords for me that 
these kind of movies usually hit. Except at the end there. There was a, a very sweet realization that... And I think this was probably the theme and the point of the entire movie was if you uh, in a relationship that comes to an end, you may not be able to replace it with the same thing, but that doesn't mean that you can't still have everything that you ever wanted in its own moderation kind of blend and mixture. I, I don't know if the audience is supposed to have that realization at the same time that Francis has that realization in this movie, but I certainly, the, the light went on for me at the exact same time as her. So that could be genius writing right there, or that might have just been me being a bit slow on the uptake, which I sometimes am. You've seen my reactions, you know that sometimes I'll get all the way through a movie and then realize, oh wait, so internal affairs was setting them up. But this was also a very beautiful movie as well, and I think that's a large part of the appeal is the setting and where everything happens. But the story that was being told also kept my interest and Diane Lane is so charismatic and so beautiful and played this role to perfection. So I see she got some award nominations for it as well and well deserved. She probably should have won. Although 2003, who knows what else was going on. And I did enjoy the storyline with the old man who brings the flowers and I guess we never really got the answer about what his whole deal was as well but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one don't forget to subscribe here on youtube and if you do want a full-length version of this one go to patreon.com slash fwci and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends ta-ta and arrivederci